From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides on the path of development. Hello, I am your host Pratiksha and today in our episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will offer you a glimpse into India's culture, diversity and the developments happening in and around the world. India, a multilingual and multicultural nation, is often recognized for its excellence in the agriculture and horticulture sector and has garnered a lot of appreciation for its world-class produce. Today, Indian farm products are gracing the shelves of malls across the world and are regarded as one of the key elements to making cuisine flavorful and authentic. To celebrate the spirit of farmers, the Meghalaya Pineapple Festival was organized in India's capital New Delhi as Meghalaya became the leading producer and exporter of pineapple among the Indian states. Let's have a glance. Meghalaya, a state nestled amidst lush green landscapes, stands out with its rich cultural diversity and unique traditional art forms. Meghalaya has also earned a reputation for its exceptional cultivation of succulent pineapples. Today, Meghalaya is one of the leading producers and exporters of delectable fruit in the country. Thanks to the generosity of the Meghalayan farmers that today a dash of pineapple powder is all it takes to add a unique flavour to our meals and beverages. To celebrate the fusion of culture, agro-excellence and innovations, Meghalaya Pineapple Festival 2023 was recently organized with grandeur at INA Delhi Heart in India's capital, New Delhi. Today, Meghalaya has been more than 13,000 hectares of pineapple. In the export, एक अच्छी खासी माइलस्टोन इन्होंने हासिल की है मिडलिस कंट्री में और आगे भी इसके बहुत सारे आशा हैं मैं आग्रह करूंगा कि किसानों के समूह खास करके हमारी सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप की बहनें उनके साथ बिल करके इसके वैल्यू एडिशन बोटलिंग पैकेजिंग कट फ्रूट लोकल विवरेज ये आप करें। Adorned with an array of indigenous agricultural and horticultural products, the festival stalls exuded elegance, representing the rich tribal heritage of the region. The festival presents a unique opportunity for farmers who get a chance to showcase their produce and gain international recognition. Through concerted efforts, the state government is constantly trying to eliminate the intermediaries. The government is also exploring and establishing links with local retailers like Reliance to provide a better market to farmers. This is one of the opportunities that we are now uh, taking so that we can enable our farmers our, uh, to come here and experience uh, a very national kind of a scenario, a market and alongside the pineapple we are also showcasing some of the indigenous food items that we are eating. Meghalaya has dedicated around 10,500 hectares of land for pineapple cultivation with a 38% of the total fruit growing space of the region. Meanwhile, Khasi and Jentia hill ranges remain ideal destinations to grow them. Meghalayan pineapples have made remarkable strides and have now extended their reach to the Middle East countries like Abu Dhabi, Kuwait and Sharjah. Their products like fruit powders, pulp, juice, jam, candies and textile embellishments are in high demand across Europe. आज हमारे स्टेट में करीब करीब डेढ़ लाख मेट्रिक टन का प्रोडक्शन हर साल होता है लेकिन ये प्रोडक्शन होने के बाद भी हमारे किसानों को उनके जो पाइनएप्पल का सही दाम नहीं मिलता और कभी कभी जो है 
अनारस खराब हो जाता है और बिक नहीं पाता तो हमें लगा कि इसको आगे बढ़ाने के लिए हमें एक तो फार्मर्स को किसानों को हमें बाहर में देश में और विदेश में हमें मार्केट में एक्सेस देना होगा ताकि उनका जो सामान है जो पाइनएप्पल है वहाँ पहुँच पाए तो इस फेस्टिवल के थ्रू हम लोग हमारे जो किसानों को और एंटरप्रेनर्स को हम लोग एक प्लेटफॉर्म देना चाहते हैं ताकि वो इस चीज़ को आगे बढ़ा पाए Efforts like this event are no less than a revolution for the Indian domestic market. Government's proactive support empowers local farmers and artisans to command the global stage with authenticity and secure fair prices for their produce and creativity. Assam, a land of vibrant culture and a home to a large number of tribes with unique customs and beliefs, has always been coherent to keep the ties between communities intact. The Darga of Sufi saint Baba Hazrat Magdum Shah Rehmatullah Alai in Assam's Guwahati is one such example of interfaith harmony. Today in our show, we'll take you to the Sijubari Darga, where Hindu, Muslim, Sikhs, and Christians all come together to seek blessings from their beloved saint. Away from the city's revelry and hustling crowd of Guwahati lies the shrine of Baba Shah Magdum Shah Rahmatullah Ale, a quaint place in the northern eastern state of Assam. People from all walks of life, regardless of their religious identities, come to the shrine to offer their gratitude towards the revered Sufi saint. The 17th century Darga is the epitome of communal harmony. as it promotes and nurtures religious amalgamation in the state kam se kam 350 saal se inka mazar se yahan hai aur hamare baap dadon ne mazar se ka khidmat ki hai kareeb mere dada ki hai mere dada ke baad mere abba abhi haam kar rahe aur is mazar se mein koi dharm ka log ke liye koi rukawat nahi har dharm ke log inke darbar pe aate hain aur inse faiz lete hain aur जो भी मन्नत नेक नियत लेकर हाजिर होते हैं सबके अपने अपनी नेक नियत को पूरे करते हैं द इंट्रिकेट डिजाइन ऑन द वॉल्स एंड द क्रिएटिव सूफी आर्किटेक्चरल फिनस इन द दरगाह ऑफन रिजनेट विद द डिवोटीज टेकिंग दैम ऑन अ नॉस्टैल्जिक राइड इन टू द हिस्ट्री द सरियल इस्लामिक इंप्रेशन एंड कैप्टिवेटिंग और ऑफ द सेक्रेट दरगाह motivate devotees to meditate and connect with their inner selves regardless of their religious backgrounds the devotees sit in the premises of the darga for hours worshiping and wishing for their well being 1710 se darga aramb hua ye nu aadmi aata hai जो लाभ मेरिज करता है लड़की लोग लड़का लड़की वो लोग भी अच्छा होने को वो दुआ मांगता है और कोई बुखार होगा तो वो दुआ मांग माने को आता है खादिम का खादिम साहब के पास दुआ करने को बोलता है खादिम साहब दुआ कर देता है भगवान अल्लाह एक है तो हम लोग आदमी कोई कोई सोचता है वो हिंदू है वो वो है वो ये है वो सोचना नहीं सही है For centuries Sufis have propagated peace and harmony in the Indian societies. The beliefs and teachings have served as bridges between different cultures and faiths. They have inspired many to follow the path of humanity and fraternity. Their lessons on communal harmony and peace find relevance even today. And now a roundup of some of the major stories that made news recently. Shares in India's Jio Financial Services carved out of billionaire Mukesh Ambani's Reliance Industries fell as much as 5% on their trading debut, valuing the company at 1.58 trillion rupees. JFS stock opened at 262 rupees and fell to a low of 248.9 rupees. with almost 70 million shares trading hands Reliance Industries had approved the listing of 6.35 billion shares but it was not immediately clear how much of a stake this represented in the company 
While GFS is yet to build out a business in India's fast-growing financial services sector, analysts say its access to the vast trove of data from Reliance Telecom, digital and retail businesses will give it a leg up in lending. GFS has already formed a joint venture with BlackRock Incorporated to launch asset management services in India with an initial investment of $150 million each. The BRICS Group of Nations has decided to invite six countries Argentina, Egypt, Iran, Ethiopia, Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates to become new members of the bloc. The debate over expanding the BRICS bloc comprising Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa topped the agenda at the recently held three-day summit. Supporting the decision to induct new nations, PM Modi said that India has always believed the addition of new members to BRICS will further strengthen and give our shared efforts a new impetus. PM Modi extended his congratulations to the leaders and citizens of Argentina, Egypt, Ethiopia, Iran, Saudi Arabia and the UAE for their successful attainment of full membership within BRICS. Presently composed of the emerging economies of Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa, BRICS has taken a decision to enlarge its membership. Initially established in 2009, the bloc consisted of Brazil, Russia, India and China. South Africa was subsequently welcomed into the fold in 2010. ICC unveiled the mascot of Men's Cricket World Cup 2023 during an event in northern Gurugram city. The international cricketing body revealed a male and a female mascot duo with blue and fiery orange colors respectively for the mega sporting event which will be hosted by India later this year. While the female mascot symbolizes passion and fire in the game, the blue male mascot stands for calm and mental strength. Indian cricketers and reigning under-19 World Cup champions Yash Dhul and Shefali Verma were also present at the gala event which was held in a mall in New Delhi satellite city. The Cricket World Cup will begin on October 5 with England facing New Zealand in Ahmedabad. Moving on, the momentous occasion of the Indian mission Chandrayaan-3 touching down on lunar surface sparked a true surge of national pride. Young, elderly, men and women from the east to the west, from the north to the south, jumped in jubilation as India became the first country to have its rover on the south pole of the moon. It was one of those remarkable instances when the entire country came together and acted as a single united family. Join us as we explore the images and visuals of the pre and post of this grand Indian success, Chandrayaan 3. As Chandrayaan 3 blasted off, India didn't just launch a spacecraft, it launched a tidal wave of emotions. The prayers began right away. People, no matter where they hailed from or who they believed in, joined hand in hope and prayers for scientists ISRO and Chandrayaan 3. Today, the entire nation is bursting with national pride as the Indian spacecraft has hit the surface of the lunar South Pole. India has created history by becoming the first to explore the uncharted territory. The prayers before the success of the mission and after the mission are a true reflection of how a family sticks together. It is also the reinforcement of India's own value system. Vasudev Kutumbaka, the world is one family. It was surreal to see people were hand in hand, performing prayers together, making offerings and doing rituals for the success of the Chandrayaan 3. For us, temples reverberated with the sound of mantras and the scent of incense as devotees performed special havans. 
Dargahs and mosques were thronged by people who came to offer chadar and prayed for the successful landing of the spacecraft on the lunar south pole. As you all know, Bhaad has launched a few days before Chandrayaan 3. For the success of successful landing, we are all joined by all the devotees, and we are all joined by all the devotees, and we are all joined by all the devotees, and we are all joined by चंद्रमा की धुरी कच्चा पर सतह पर लैंड करेगा और पूरे दुनिया को बता देगा कि भारत सबसे आगे था, सबसे आगे है और सबसे आगे रहेगा। जय हिंदुस्तान, जय भारत। The wave of celebration and fervor didn't just remain confined to the boundaries of India alone. The entire world caught the excitement India dedicated its success to the entire world. Highlighting that all its objectives were always directed towards the welfare of humanity. Sir, we have achieved soft landing on the moon. India is on the moon. This incident, however, wasn't an exclusive reflection of peace and harmony. There have been multiple occasions when people from different communities and religious backgrounds have come together to rejoice the achievements of one another. And now we bring you some of the stories from the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of World in Focus. Yamaha Motors' policy is to preserve the environment and promote a comfortable social life. At Otaru Canal in Hokkaido, sightseeing boats were installed with Yamaha Motors' EV engine to provide comfort and satisfaction for passengers. This electric vehicle engine is named Harmo. It has an electric motor with a smooth control system. Biodiesel engines and EV engines are only used on boats at Otaru Canal with an aim to protect the environment. And this policy is matched with Yamaha Motors EV engine technology. The smooth operation of Harmo boats makes the guest passengers satisfied and they witness the surroundings of the historical buildings. <laughs> で、音がないってことはそれだけエネルギー効率がいいわけなんで、それとハルモシステムっていうのはあの本当片手で船が真横にも動くし、えー、いろんな移動ができる。皆さん本当にこれで動いてるのっていう反響が多いですね。In 2016, Yamaha Motor began investigating and developing an EV boat operation system. Transformation of mobility is the most important policy for Yamaha Motors. Yamaha Motors' interests include drones, electric two-wheelers, bicycles, vehicle chairs, and marine transportation on land and beneath the surface of the ocean. The core objective of Yamaha Motor is to create a serene and clean environment along the canal. Both the sky and the ground are the targets of its ambition. A Palestinian teen developed an app she says can predict the reason behind a baby's tears based on the tone of his cries. The app also provides mothers and caregivers tips and tricks to help ease the child. Living with infant twins and a newborn brother, this Palestinian teenager used their constant sound of cries to develop an app, which she says can help mothers identify the reason their infant is crying. 15-year-old Leali Khatib, who lives on the outskirts of the West Bank's Jenin, worked on a software that uses artificial intelligence to analyze the sound of infants' cries and identify the cause of their crying, whether it is hunger, sleepiness, pain, or a wet diaper. Khatib began developing the application, which she called motherhood guide in 2019 the young developer says her app works with 93 percent accuracy mother guide can be used for infants under 18 months and also gives caregivers tips and tricks on easing their child's discomfort khatib recalls having to overcome many obstacles along the way she learned coding by following online classes 
and used an open source website to create the app. After her hopes of refining her current app and spreading it worldwide, Khatib's next goal is to develop an app that can diagnose autism. Pikachu dancing event was recently organized in Japan's Yokohama city. These adorable Pokemon Pikachus dance to draw crowds. Pikachu is the most popular and beloved cartoon character among children. This year, Pokemon World Championship was held supported by Yokohama City. It includes Pokemon and Pikachu March, Pokemon Card Game, Pokemon Go, and Pokemon Unite to nominate World Champion. The World Championship was held in Japan this year after previously taking place in the United States and the United Kingdom. Pikachu danced attractively while marching nearby Yokohama Museum. Many families and their kids were excited to meet with real Pikachu. A large number of visitors gathered at the event including tourists as well. During the event, a Pokemon special parade of 100 family characters was held. Many Pokemon fans gathered to take pictures and cheered on the streets of Yokohama. At night, many Pikachus attract the audience while performing the live show. The spectators prepared their smartphones to take a remembrance picture. In the night sky, Pokemon characters were visualized by drone mapping. Japan's summer is sometimes affected by typhoons with heavy rains. On this day, Pokemon Pikachu's power and enthusiasm of the children defeated typhoon. It was a memorable event for every spectator. Srinagar, the summer capital of Jammu and Kashmir, is often known for its mountainous beauty. But today, in our episode of My India, we'll take you to the floral adventure of the city where you will witness the breathtaking array of 1.5 million flowers. The Indira Gandhi Memorial Tulip Garden is a must visit for the tourist. Hundreds of varieties of tulips bloom in their full glory and attract millions of tourists every year. Have a look. Srinagar, the summer capital of Jammu and Kashmir, the Union Territory in northern India. The city lies along the banks of the Jhelum River in the Vale of Kashmir. Situated amid clear lakes and lofty forested mountains, Srinagar has a long considerable tourist economy. The Jhelum River runs through the city and is crossed by multiple wooden bridges while numerous neighbouring canals and waterways are lined with shikaras, Kashmir's gondola. To witness the floral side of the summer capital, the Indra Gandhi Memorial Tulip Garden, it is a must visit for the tourists. The garden has also entered the World Book of Records as Asia's largest such park, adorned with a breathtaking array of 1.5 million flowers. जो हमने मेहनत की है आज डिपार्टमेंट का उसका सिला मिल गया है तो हम उम्मीद करते हैं इंशाल्लाह हम और भी ज्यादा मेहनत करेंगे कि डिपार्टमेंट और भी ज्यादा ऊंचाई छू जाए Hundreds of varieties of tulips bloom in their full glory in the spring season from mid of March to the end of April and attract millions of tourists every year Located in the foothills of the Zabarwan hill in Srinagar Tulip Garden is one of the most surreal tourist spots in India. जब हमने देखा कि श्रीनगर के अंदर का Tulip Garden को भी पूरी दुनिया आप देख रही है और उसको जान रही है और यहाँ पर्यटन जिस तरह से बढ़ रहा है उसी तरीके से यहाँ के garden और Tulip Garden खास तौर पर पूरी दुनिया के अंदर प्रसिद्ध हो रहे हैं तो क्यों ना एशिया का पहला Tulip Garden का खिताब इसे मिलना चाहिए हमारे मेंबर ऑफ पार्लियामेंट्स जो ब्रिटिश पार्लियामेंट के अंदर है उनकी अनुशंसा पर आज ये सर्टिफिकेट डिपार्टमेंट के कमिश्नर महोदय को दिया गया है 
Tulip garden also known as Siraj Bagh is a treat to the eyes while the bright colors impress your sight the mesmerizing fragrance of the blooming flowers refreshes your mind Kashmir Valley a paradise on the earth is adorned with mystical natural beauty the mountains meadows and a number of exquisite gardens is certainly a charm for visitors For the last few years the tulip garden in the valley has attracted lakhs of tourists from across the world the number of tourists in the valley is on a steep rise ever since the valley has attained peace and harmony after it got recognition as one of the union territories of india That's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at myindia@anin.com. I'm your host Pratiksha and it's a goodbye from the entire production team. Mm-hmm.